Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today I come up with a very amazing problem and this is original problem framed by me and uh, the name of the problem is the magic of uh, elastic string and uh, we are going to discuss a very unique approach of solving such problems and uh, so let's start. Here is the statement of uh, this problem and by the way this is the diagram of this uh, question here. So let's discuss the statement of this problem. All right. So here is the statement of uh, this problem. There are series of questions in this. A small particle of mass m and charge q is hanging from an elastic string in uniform electric field of E along x axis. It is given that the elastic string has zero relaxed length. That is the natural length of the string is nearly zero. This is a very, very important statement in this problem. And uh, you will see because of that, this question becomes very special. And the string uh, has force constant of K. The particle is taken to a point X naught comma Y naught and it is released. So the point here is we can say the natural length of the string is uh, zero. So wherever this particle is going to be, that is going to be the extension of the string. Okay, so now we have to find this series of questions. Number one is the coordinates of the point where particle uh, comes to rest for the first time. What will be the maximum speed of uh, the particle during the motion? What will be the path followed by the particle? After how much time particle returns to the initial position and what will be the distance traveled by the particle when it comes back to the initial position for the first time. So here you can see this is the diagram, this is the initial situation. And uh, the way we are going to solve this question is uh, completely unique and uh, you will love it. And uh, please learn this method. It is uh, it, it may be very, very helpful for you. So here it is. Let's uh, discuss this part. So as you can see here, this is the initial situation. There are two forces which are going to act on this uh, particle. One is elastic force which is acting towards the center itself. All right. Towards the origin itself. Because the fixed point is the origin and this is the free end. Another force which is going to act on this particle is the electric force which is Q times E. Since there is a constant electric field, I can write it as Q E naught I cap. So initial position vector of the particle is given, which is uh, R0 is equal to X0 I plus Y0 J. These coordinates are given. So I'm calling it as initial, initial position vector. Now X I plus Y J, similarly, I can say this is the position vector at some general location as this particle is going to move. As this particle is going to move then it, its coordinates are x comma y so at that instant its uh, position vector is x i plus y j so these are the two forces acting on it so i can write here f net acting on the particle as f elastic plus f electrical since here the natural length of the string is zero so you can say directly itself the change in length the change in length in the elastic string is equal to length of the string at any time t itself. All right. So here at any given instant, if particle is at some location of position vector of R, so I can say this magnitude of R itself is the extension in the string. So I can write this elastic force as minus KR vector plus electric force that is going to be QE naught and by the way this m will not come it will be just q e naught okay so uh, leave this m this m is not going to come in this equation now we are going to calculate the equilibrium condition or equilibrium position of it so whenever net force on this particle is going to be zero that is going to give us that is going to give us equilibrium so here you can see in equilibrium this net force is zero so i am going to get position vector of equilibrium as q e naught by k i am going to get this as q e naught by k 
all right so this position vector here is known to us or i can say this uh, position vector of equilibrium point is somewhere along x axis it is somewhere along x axis and its magnitude is also known to us that is q e not by k times i cap so now here as this particle is moving i am writing its uh, position vector as r general time t at any general time t i am writing this position vector as r so at that instant this net force i can write as minus kr vector plus q e not i cap all right that i have written earlier itself that is uh, the elastic force and this is the electric force all right and in this just now we have calculated here the position vector of equilibrium uh, which is q e not by k times i cap so if i substitute the value of q e not into this equation i am going to get i am going to get f net is equal to minus k times r minus r equilibrium now this is the most crucial uh, step of this problem as you see this r minus r equilibrium this equation is somewhat resembling the shm equation minus k delta x kind of situation is there let me explain what exactly is this r minus r q and we are going to discuss in detail so i know this uh, equilibrium position is somewhere along x axis so this vector is known to us this vector is known to us all right this is r equilibrium at any given instant this r is a position vector so here you can see this vector it is going to be vector r minus r equilibrium from this equilibrium position away from it this is going to be r minus r equilibrium and if you look at this this is nothing but it is the displacement from the equilibrium position r minus r equilibrium is nothing but displacement from the equilibrium position so now it is uh, clear to us that whenever this force is k times minus k times displacement from the mean position displacement from the equilibrium position it is going to be a simple harmonic motion so that is what we are getting so this particle is going to perform a simple harmonic motion let's see how exactly this uh, simple harmonic motion will take place so one thing is very clear from here that uh, time period of oscillation for this shm is going to be 2 pi under root of m by k so that is what i have written here and this is going to be the answer for uh, fourth part where uh, question was asked the time after which particle will return to its initial position so we know in shm particle will return after a time of t not to the initial position that t not is the time period of it now let's uh, analyze this here this is the initial position vector and this is the r equilibrium which is along x axis now here if you see at any given instant if this is the position vector so this is r minus r equilibrium here you can see that this particle is going to oscillate along this line this particle is going to oscillate along this line because r minus r q is the r minus r q is the displacement from the mean position so it's i hope it is clear to you guys that it is going to oscillate along this but it will not stop here this is the equilibrium it is starting from here with zero velocity and it is starting from here with zero velocity its speed is increasing this is the point with the maximum speed and then it is reaching other side speed is decreasing it reaches somewhere here goes back with maximum speed at this point and again goes back here and comes to rest and then it keeps oscillating in this manner it keeps oscillating in this manner you can see here it will go like this come back and go again come back and go again this is how it is going to oscillate uh, so here i can say the motion of this particle is shm and it is happening along a straight line it is happening along a straight line this is a very famous equation here this is the very famous equation so i hope it is clear to everyone that 
this particle is going to oscillate and if you are dealing it with the vectors it is going to be very very simple problem but if you try to solve by some other method it is going to be very lengthy so here you can see this equilibrium point will become the midpoint all right this will become the midpoint and if you remember the first part of this question is first part of this question is find the coordinates of a point find the coordinates of a point when particle comes to rest for the first time so as you can see here particle will come to rest at another extreme once it will start so this is the extreme here and you can see here r equilibrium this position vector this point is going to be the midpoint of it so i can use that midpoint formula that r equilibrium is midpoint of this point a and r not so when i substitute this value here i am going to get r equilibrium is equal to r not plus r a by 2 let's substitute the value simplify it r a is going to be 2 r equal r equilibrium minus r not when i substitute the value i get the coordinates of uh, point a from here this is the position vector of uh, point a so x coordinate is 2 q e naught by k minus x naught and y coordinate of point a is minus y naught so these points are also known to us i think this part is clear to you once once again you can see r minus r equilibrium is along like this line so it is going to move in a straight line it is going to move in a straight line here all right so next part next part is maximum speed of particle during the journey so in shm in simple harmonic motion we know v max is equal to amplitude times omega omega is the angular frequency of it so which is root of k by m and a naught is this a naught is nothing but the distance between equilibrium and x naught this is nothing but distance between equilibrium and a naught so when i substitute the value here it is the distance between these two points so omega multiplied by this is the omega root of it and distance is root of x naught minus q by k whole square plus y naught square so this is the answer for second part next the equation of trajectory so it is a straight line passing through two known points x naught y naught and q by k comma zero and it is going to be a straight line so simply i can write y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 times x minus x1 so that equation of trajectory if you are interested in the line part of that line is the uh, is the part where particle is moving so this is going to be the answer for uh, third part here i was just interested in the shape of that uh, path i was not interested about the equation however we have the information by which we can calculate this equation next is distance traveled when particle return for uh, uh, returns to the one second let's uh, check what is the fifth uh, part what will be the distance traveled by the particle when it comes back to the initial position for the first time so when it comes back to the initial point how much distance it is going to travel it is moving along the straight line so a 2a 3a and 4a so total distance traveled is going to be four times the amplitude of it and uh, that is known to us so this is the answer for fifth part that is it in the question i hope you have enjoyed this method it's a very unique way and uh, uh, such a tough problem if you are dealing with vectors becomes such a simple problem and uh, if you have enjoyed this video give a thumbs up please share it with other uh, students and teachers and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll come up with another amazing um, amazing problem very soon thank you thank you very much